Tusema mambo moja sisi kama youth tuwe mashujaa ya amani. Tuwe mashujaa ya amani, tuwe mashujaa ya maendeleo, tuwe mashujaa ya elimu. Hii ni karne ya kupigana na elimu sio karne ya bunduki na kadhalika, si ndio wazee? Eh, hey, ini karne ya kutafuta elimu, ini karne ya maendeleo, ini karne ya kupigana na kalamu. Hii mambo ya bunduki hii mtu kwa wao kwa wao bila makosa yoyote shapitwa na wakati so tafadhali tuwe mashujaa ya maendeleo tuwe mashujaa ya elimu tuwe mashujaa ya upendo ya upendo na amani zote na ya tatu ambao nataka kuongeza ni sisi kama youth representation this goes to the uh, DCC as i was reminded earlier so bwana DCC Tafadhali we have been subjugated we are not involved in any issue involving youth affairs or even women, yeah, women. Yeah. so i beg you i beg you we should be in, we should be included in them because the people who can be uh, radicalized easily are youth so if you don't involve you this uh, then it will be very difficult also for our mothers women this called this this thing called a third should be women isn't it? A third should be women. So women should also not be forgotten. So ile mambo ambayo mlijadiliana, ile suluhisho ambayo mlipata, tutawa support kama vijana, tutaendeleza amani. Amani ilikuwa tangu za hapa ndio pale ambapo nilijulikana kama peaceful area. This was the area that was known for peace. It was not an area of crime. So just for some few years from 2010, ndio hii mambo nadhani imeanza sana. For example when I was in Fomba in my secondary school we had from the other side those friends of mine who are from Guba their side we are around 36 of them before we even joined Fomba was Troka and recently we have something like real trophy to organize it copa trophy we don't know all of a sudden something happened they disappear so please those people also those brothers on the other side should be peace ambassadors that's what we can ask you please let us uh, preach peace whenever we are Let's be peace ambassadors from where we are. So, uh, ya mwisho, nitatua shukrani kwa kwa na DCC. Najua you are very corruptible man. He cannot be corrupted. Uh, he's a man of his own principles. Na jambo moja nitakuomba tafadhali. Ukiangalia vijana wetu hapa wote. Wamemaliza. Wengine wamemaliza chukiku. Wengine wamemaliza sekondari. Lakini hawana kitambulisho. Kwa mfano nilifanya kitambulisho last year huko Dar es nilikuwa wa wale maklats na mpaka saa hii wengine hata wajapata ID yao. Na it is almost yeah, that historical injustice we have been facing all over the years. So kindly please let's ensure that our youths are given uh, ID cards such that they will be very useful in this society.